Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your DAX day trade setups for today. <clears throat> so Friday was a rejection bar, and that was kind of off the previous bit of structure. And you can see there, <clears throat> excuse me, you had a inside bar on uh, Thursday. Then Friday was this pin bar. So uh, pin bar off a level. That is a level. That is a pin bar. Uh, you're looking for a break of that structure to the downside so we'll get to that on the lower time frames um, if we start looking at the three hour we've had a massive move up and now basically bouncing all over the place no real indication that something is uh, brewing here either to the upside or the downside this level here is pretty important that's 13348 and uh, this level to the upside is also important and that is 13,800. So that's kind of the range that we are stuck in. Now, if we start coming back down here, you see the bottom of that pin bar is basically 13,348. So a break below that validates double top. Um, it also breaks below the pin bar. And then you are looking at a move of roughly uh, 640 points it's probably by this gap somewhere oh, that's halfway down so there's a gap and then you're looking at this area here roughly around there so yeah so if we break below 13350 and retest expect this gap to close first once the gap is closed, you've got another sort of smaller gap to the downside here. And then you have this bit of structure to the downside at 12,720. So that's kind of the play that I have, that I'm looking at today. So uh, you can see, you know, when we did the video on Friday, pretty much in amongst all the moving averages on the 50 minutes, and then we had this exhaustion bar up, and then back below the moving averages again. So, uh, yeah, I would wait for a break of either one of these levels, to be honest. You probably find price is going to continue drifting to the downside and then bounce up and then sort of bounce around. We, we're we waiting for noise. There's uh, noise in Ukraine. There's noise uh, in the Feds this week as well. So uh, we're waiting for some catalyst at the moment. And that's kind of what I would be doing with this is just wait and see. S&P's got a, a bit of uh, a setup brewing there, which will more than likely play out today. But, um, you know, the DAX, Monday as well, you probably find we just sort of muck around between these two levels uh, until we get something on the cards. But, uh, yeah, if the, the trick at the moment is 15-minute trades is the way to go. You can see there was a flat bottom triangle which broke and retested. And, you know, here we had an exhaustion bar, then a whole lot of inside bars before sort of breaking down. So, you know, 15 minutes, possibly even... You know, if you've got the time, a, a five minute will get you some uh, some opportunities. You can see on the five minute, you would have got this big squirt, that engulfing bar off the 155. Fairly decent entry just above that bar and a stop just below it. So uh, uh, automated trading, you basically put the trade in and uh, wait. That would have given you 65 point risk and it would have pretty much uh, around 400 points and you would have jumped out of that pretty quickly but uh, anyway you know, that's a 10, 20, 25 minute trade that and uh, if you look today watch these moving averages if you get this kind of price action around the moving averages again to the downside I would take it you've got a, an opportunity sort of of 200 points for 100 point risk so 2 to 1 trade at the moment so yeah, uh, if you've got the time, then definitely have a look at the five, six minutes, uh, 10 minutes, 15 minute charts, and uh, you should pick up something quite decent there. Uh, for me, prefer the hour, so uh, I'll be sitting on the sides with the DAX until we break this level. If we start breaking 13,348, then I'm looking for opportunities short for this double top target to the downside. Anyway, hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.